I think we need to talk about Mike McDaniel because he's sort of like trending right now online. Um, what happened to Tua yesterday was awful. And I don't really follow the Miami Dolphins that closely. So there's a whole controversy. We're going to get into it uh, quickly because it's not a Miami Dolphins show. But let's talk about it. What did you think of what happened and the Dolphins' uh, culpability? Yeah, you know, I'm a little disturbed by it. Now, I'm a big Mike McDaniel fan. And so I, I did a lot of reading last night on the subject, trying to educate myself as much as I can. I'm not a doctor. Um, but, you know, there seems to be something – somebody dropped the ball somewhere, and I'm not really sure where the blame falls. Uh, but just from the outside looking in, it just it, – the whole thing seemed disturbing. When I was watching the game on Sunday with the Dolphins, uh, they played the Bills, I believe. Or uh, not the Bills. They played the uh, the Bengals, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, well, no, no, hold on. You're yeah. talking Sunday or, or, or Sunday. yesterday? Sunday. Sunday. They, who they play on Sunday? I forget. I uh, they played the Bills. Know. They played the Bills, right? Okay, I thought that's what it was. But, yeah, so when they played on Sunday, <clears throat> I was watching the game, and it looked like, to me, a concussion. Um, he he kind of, uh, to a wobbled. And yeah. And supposedly a sign of concussion. Now, they're saying it was a back thing. Right. So, that was weird. They, they, it looked like a concussion, but they said it was a back thing. That yeah, was weird. Yeah. If, from the outside looking at it, it really looked like a concussion. And, um, you know, if Tua went in the back at halftime and talked to the – the independent, they have an independent neurologist who, who looks at mm -hmm. these things. And if he went in the back and said, hey, it was my back, I mean, at that point, they're, they're very limited on, on what they can do. So I'm a little, I'm, I'm curious as what Tua trans, translated to, to the UNC and to the, the doctor's medical staff, if he said it was his back or not. Um, but, you know, and maybe it was, but honestly, it looked like it was a concussion. Um, but they let him back into the game. So at that point, from my understanding, once they let him back into that, that game, it's kind of irrelevant for this game. If they let him in that game because it was just a back, then there is no concussion protocol to, to follow for the Dolphins. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I was, uh, the doctor that you have on all the time, I forget his name. Dr. Uh, Rob Pandya. Yeah, he was talking to Damon Bruce last night and saying that oh, wow. unless Tua had uh, signs of a concussion throughout the week, um, that the Dolphins uh, – I mean, from that's what I gathered from it. Unless Tua was showing signs of a concussion throughout the week, the Dolphins had no responsibility or were, well, that's probably the wrong word. They had their, no protocol in order to keep evaluating him as uh, with a concussion. And so playing in this game, if it was just a back and there's no signs of a concussion, that really wasn't a Dolphins thing. The UNC, they, they just monitored concussions during the end game, and it's the Dolphins that watch them throughout the week. But if there was no concussion – reported on Sunday, then you really can't put this on. It's tough, man. Just because when I watch it, it's like, okay, this dude had a concussion, but what you're hearing is the back thing. So it's just really confusing for me. What I do know is it was super disturbing to watch um, last night, seeing him go down like that um, and seeing how his body just kind of seized up, you know, he's, Things you see when people are street fighting. I've seen that before in a street fight. Guys get knocked out and and do that. And it's just it's just gross and disturbing. And whether it was the Dolphins' fault or who whoever's fault um, that he played, I think the protocol is what needs to be to be monitored. I think the independent neurologists need to tap in throughout the week and not just during the end game. Yeah. So here are my questions. I um, before we blame Mike McDaniel, and he might be at blame here, I just have questions. How did the um, end up the UNC? How did he not uh, diagnose Tua with a concussion? Like, what did he see there? Why, I'm not saying he was. I'm not saying I was right. Like, we saw him on television wobble around. That doesn't necessarily mean he had a concussion. So, why did the independent guy set by the league say he didn't have a concussion? Um, because think about it from McDaniel's perspective. Like, if if the UNC says it's not a concussion. If his head trainer says it's not a concussion and McDaniel says, you guys don't know what you're talking about. You're just doctors. I, I think it's a concussion because I saw him wobbling. I'm not going to play him. If he passes the test, you take him out two out of the game and you lose. Well, now you got a whole other uh, set of questions you have to answer to your owner, your players, your fans, everyone, right? Like, I just think it's a tough position for the head coach. And I'd like to know why the experts... Because look, the expert says it was said it wasn't a concussion. The NFL, everyone said it looked bad. The NFLPA in, uh, launched an investigation into it. What happened with the investigation? I'd like to know. 
it seems like McDaniel is like listening, you know, to the experts and they're saying it's not a concussion. He's like, all right, well then I'm going to play the, I'm going to play the quarterback. Everyone's saying he should have been more careful. What, why did the experts say it wasn't a concussion? That's my question. Cause it looked like one. Yeah. yeah. And something that is possible. And again, I'm not defending anything that happened. I just don't know. I have questions. So I'm, but you know, I think it's good to throw out all scenarios. It is entirely possible that he didn't have a concussion on Sunday and that, that that tackle that took place last night caused what we saw. It, it doesn't necessarily have to be a result of a second. Right. That. that is possible. And I guess I'd like to f- wait for more information before I start firing people on my show. Yeah. So I understand people. I think I don't think people are really outraged in McDaniel, but I think a lot of people that felt Kyle Shanahan didn't do anything wrong with Trey are now trying to be like, oh, okay, we'll keep that same energy with Mike. It's like, okay, well, it's a different situation, and let's wait. I mean, if if Mike was culpable, then he should be in trouble or maybe fired. But it's possible he was just following the advice of the experts, in which case I'd like to – maybe they do know. Maybe it wasn't a concussion, to your point. Maybe, maybe they know more than us. So we'll have yeah. to see. I, I think if you see a guy – I think what, what needs to – maybe if I see a, a, a an opportunity for improvement here would be that the UNC doesn't – don't just take to his word for it. If you see him wobbling on the field, maybe you just say, hey, that might be a concussion and we need to just be cautious. So maybe that's something that, that could I mean, happen. is that the concussion test? The UNC just goes up to the player and says, do you have a concussion? And he says yes or no. Like, that's the test? I, I don't even know what the test I would think there was like a set of things where he like makes you follow his finger and asks you some questions. Did they not do that? I'd like to know. And again, there was an investigation. So they're supposed to be looking into that. Theoretically, yeah. they already did. So yeah. if they if the if the UNC was right and it wasn't a concussion, then I mean, it seems like it's possible a lot of people on Twitter are like you know being doctors that aren't there, yeah. you know, yeah. sideline doctors. Yeah. I don't know. I I'd like to definitely needs to be an investigation. That's for sure. And there I'm is one. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there is one. <laughs>